All right, hi Q and I and anyone who's watching. Uh, after the holiday cocktail hour, there was a request for some more uh, instructional videos, perhaps with better production quality. Uh, we have some very, very cinematic snobs in the groups, but also some uh, pretty fun drinkers. So uh, I wanted to make tonight the classic Clover Club cocktail. And uh, the Clover Club was made famous in the Clover Club. Uh, and it has many variants. The one we're going to do tonight is from a website called Difford's. Hey, Valerie, we're going to show them how do we make this drink. So the Clover Club is a perfect summer drink. It's very fun. It uses raspberries, fresh raspberries. So you're going to need fresh raspberries. Uh, it is a gin drink. So we're going to use gin. I like Bombay Sapphire, but really any works. Thank you for your help with that. Hey, hey. We're going to use sweet vermouth as well as dry vermouth. We need simple syrup. We're going to need the juice of a lemon. We're going to need an egg white. And then we're gonna serve this all in a cocktail glass or a martini glass, if you will. Hey, baby girl. To do that, we're going to shake it in a, with a Boston shaker and pint glass. And we're going to fine strain it. Uh, of course, you'll need a measuring cup as well. So, uh, oh, and don't forget your ice. So it's a bit of work, uh, but it's fairly straightforward to put it together. So uh, the first thing that I like to do is, well, the recipe calls for 52 milliliters of gin, seven and a half milliliters of uh, dry, sweet uh, vermouth, along with simple syrup, 15 or seven and a half milliliters of lemon and half of an egg white never been very good at separating egg whites into halves. So generally what I like to do is just make two of them whenever I have a half an egg white recipe. It's also hard to measure out, hey, shh. It's also hard to measure out seven and a half milliliters of anything. So hey, do you want to hold on to something? Hey, how's that? Does that help? Is that good? So we're just going to double it. So you can have one with your significant other uh, or you can drink two because they go down fast and easy. So uh, the first thing that I like to do is... Uh, do our egg white separation here. So there we go. If you've never done this before, it takes a little practice, but you're just gonna keep putting the yolk back and forth, kind of between those, there we go. So we have just egg white, as you see, and uh, some recipes will call for an exact amount of egg white. I generally don't uh, worry about that. I, I just throw in one egg white, uh, as long as it's not some sort of mammoth egg, you're usually not in too much trouble. Oh, thank you, baby girl. Yeah, you helped get egg yolk everywhere. It's good. It's good. People should have more kids, you know, when they're uh, making cocktails. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I also like to do the lemon. Oh, there it goes. You dropped it. So I'll take a just a serrated blade, cut it. You can squeeze it out. Um, I have a special tool for this. Hang tight. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Here we are. So you can just, these are like $6.99 at most stores. Very convenient for doing all sorts of stuff. I think that gets enough for 15 there, but I do have the other one just in case. Uh, well then what I usually like to do, all right, we've got our egg white, we've got our lemon. I'm gonna go ahead and put the ice in. So we want a good deal of ice in here. I'd say, uh, at least six cubes, if, if uh, not, maybe eight. Uh, but it depends on the size of your shaker glass. So I think six is plenty for this size. Otherwise, it's going to get too crowded. All right, so let's measure out our lemon juice, huh? So we're doing times two. So 15 milliliters, baby girl, yeah? Oh, we, is Dad making a mess? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, okay, 15. Let's put in our egg white. There we go, bottoms up. Now, it calls for five fresh raspberries, so we will use 10 since we're doubling the recipe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. My wife's going to kill me when she saw that I took the baby's favorite fruit and made a cocktail out of it. Sorry, baby girl. You had like so many raspberries with dinner, though, so you had your share. Now, the fun part, 100 milliliters of gin. Here we go, baby girl, your favorite. I'm kidding, of course, she's a whiskey girl. There we are, 100, bottoms up. 
Put that away. No gym tonight, baby girl. Okay. And now 15, seven and a half times two of simple syrup. Even pouring 15 sometimes is a struggle, especially when you've got a baby strapped to your chest. There we go. Oh, we've been doing five minutes already. We are more long-winded ever than ever, huh? So your dry vermouth, keep your vermouth refrigerated once you open it. Uh, it'll last a little longer. Sometimes you'll see that bars don't do it, but they go through a lot. If you're going to use it within a few weeks, it's probably fine. Hey, hey, yeah, dries. You don't like dry as much as sweet? Sweet vermouth, yeah. Hey, shh. Hey, do you need something to hold on to? All right, there's 15 of that. Oh, might have been a bit much there. I don't recommend drinking that by itself. It's not very good. Um, more of a more of a mixer. All right, so we got gin, sweet, dry vermouth, simple lemon, uh, egg, and raspberries. So without any further ado, we can do a shake. So. This will get a little loud. You're going to put this on nice and tight. And we're going to shake. Is that fun, baby girl? Oh, yeah. So you want to get those raspberries mixed up. Whew, it's exhausting. Yeah, do you like that? Is it fun? Yeah? All right. So we got it nice and frothy. That egg white is going to make that nice frothiness. And we're... I'm going to go get a frothy glass. This one's been sitting in the freezer the whole time, so you can see it's nice and chilled. We're going to take our Hawthorne strainer, cover it up here. Let's back that up. There we go. And our fine strainer. We're just going to strain. So catch all of the raspberry and little bits of, I don't know, lemon seeds or if you you're all professionals. I'm sure you didn't get any, any eggshells in there, but uh, it's generally not a good garnish, so we're going to make sure we don't have any of that in there. Oh, look at this, baby girl. If you have a big enough cocktail glass, you can do it all as one drink, which is a real delight. Let me shake this a little, get some of those stubborn ones in there. All right. What do we think, baby girl? Is that a good one? All right. Cheers, Q&I. Oh, very light. Almost a fluffiness to it. Nice raspberry hint, but that lemon makes it very, very um, balanced. You get a little bit of sweetness from uh, from the simple syrup and the raspberry, and you get a little bit of sour from the raspberry and uh, and the gin, and of course you get the bitter from the lemon. So uh, this is Ben and Valerie saying cheers and good night. Enjoy your Clover Club.